So there's a Wall Street Journal and New York Times story that talk about how the health officials prevented, presented all this, uh, these facts and figures, and it was his unqualified staffers who changed the report. They called it, these are the words of the New York Times, an extraordinary intervention, which came just as Cuomo was starting to write a book on his pandemic achievements, was the earliest act yet known in the, what critics have called a month-long effort by the governor and his aides to obscure the full scope of nursing home deaths. Then comes the AG report, and not 6,000, not 9,000, but 15,000 died who were put to hospitals, brought back into nursing homes. He has everybody but himself to blame. For example. They want to say that the March 25th order brought COVID, is how COVID went into the nursing homes. Now, they coincidentally leave out that the March 25th order was done after guidance by Trump's CDC and CMS. COVID did not get into the nursing homes by people coming from hospitals. COVID got into the nursing homes by staff walking into the nursing home. If you think there was a mistake, then go talk to the federal government. Why COVID? Why did God do this? But who cares? 33, 28, died in a hospital, died in a nursing home. They died. Unbelievable, and that those callous remarks just ring uh, around this country, not just in New York State. Who cares? They died. We actually think that Governor Cuomo was going to explain to us why God did this. A person who's been there every step of the way, sadly, she lost both her in-laws uh, to the coronavirus uh, in nursing homes uh, within weeks of each other. Janice Dean joins us now. Janice, this story moved substantially overnight. What for you? Is the most uh, is the most grievous revelation. We knew that he was covering up the numbers, and now we're getting more and more information and facts that this is true, and the fact that Melissa DeRosa, his top aide, was in on it to help cover up the numbers to downplay them. She was the one in that Democratic lawmaker meeting behind mm -hmm. closed doors, apologizing to Democratic lawmakers. I'm so sorry we kept this information from you. We were afraid of the DOJ investigation. They have never apologized to the families, 15,000 families that deserve an apology. The only thing this governor is going to be sorry for is the fact that he got caught. And you know what? He needs to go to jail and all of those around him. There is no if, ands, or buts here. I, I, I understand your frustration, and I, I completely get where you're coming from. Janice, as, as you think back a year ago when the numbers started going, and then, you know, over a couple of months, then it became kind of a, a Trump versus Cuomo where the media said, okay, Trump's doing everything wrong and Cuomo's doing everything right. And so when this actual number, the actual number was 10,000, but at probably his direction, uh, his aide said, we'll make it 6,400 just so that it seems better. It, it is terrible if politics came into this just to make the president look bad or whatever. But nonetheless, the deception at this level is absolutely unforgivable. Absolutely. We still don't know why the governor didn't use the facilities provided by the federal government, the Comfort Ship, the Javits Center, uh, the makeshift hospitals. Those are things I think need to be investigated. There is a federal investigation right, right. now. There is an FBI investigation. And the curious thing is the governor has lawyered up, not for the Me Too stuff, which, by the way, is disgusting and he should be punished for, but for the nursing home problem. So what People needs to died. happen today? Today, lawmakers, lawmakers in Albany need to start the process of impeachment. I think they're working on that. There's a, there are a group of bipartisan individuals, lawmakers. They're calling for him either to step down or impeachment. How did we learn the latest information, Janice? Do you know? Because these top advisors to Cuomo, they were pushing, according to reports, the health officials to rewrite the death reports when it comes to nursing homes. Are the health officials speaking about this? How did we get this information? 
Well, I think it's interesting that nine of Cuomo's top health officials quit. We got that information a couple of weeks ago. So perhaps one of those health officials that was producing science to the governor and saying, hey, not a good idea to put infected patients into nursing homes. Maybe they were the ones that are coming forward. And I appreciate all those that are coming forward, but we need an independent bipartisan investigation with subpoena power now, because I think the evidence will prove that this governor, his administration are all guilty of covering up the numbers and putting infected patients into right. nursing homes. As we look forward to see what's next, you don't see the governor said anything. You see staffers did this. Unless these staffers are going to flip, I can see he's going to do the same thing he did with that Buffalo project where we lost billions of dollars and one of his best friends went to jail. Now you have Linda Lacewell, Melissa DeRosa, Jim Malatross, a former top advisor, all were telling they took the took the health report and changed it. It doesn't say Governor Cuomo changed it, and you know he's not going to step up. I could actually see him going, yeah, I didn't know why my staff did that. Nothing to do with your book you wanted to come out, where you made yourself a pandemic hero right before the second wave, slapped your shutdown city, and stayed again. So keep your eye on that. R so, uh, Janice, you're all over this? Uh, go ahead. Would you? No, the bottom line is as well, promoting that book and making money off of COVID and our dead loved ones. Disgusting, corrupt, and it needs to be investigated.